Good afternoon, Santa. Thank you for meeting me here today. My name is Jackie, my pronouns are she and her, and I'm a nurse practitioner here at the Toronto Health Centre. Let's see. One month ago, we completed your PAP test and HPV, which stands for Human Papillomavirus Testing. I arranged this follow-up appointment with you today to discuss the results. Do you have any questions for me so far? A lot of stuff is going through my head right now. To be honest, I'm freaking out. I've never had to come in to have my PAP test result reviewed. What's going on? I apologize for making you feel worried. I wanted to review the results with you in person because they did come back abnormal. Are you okay if I review these results in more detail with you? Yeah, like tell me what's wrong. So your pap test showed abnormal squamous cells suspicious for HCIL, which stands for high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesions, and your HPV test also came back positive. Have you heard of HCIL or HPV before? No, I've never heard of HCIL or HPV. Like, how could I have even got this? I feel perfectly fine. I apologize for upsetting you. I know this is very difficult to hear. At any point during our conversation, please feel free to stop me and let me know when we can continue. No, no, please continue. But um, I'll let you know if I need you to stop. No problem. What information would you like to know about HCIL and HPV? Everything. How did I get it? Can it be treated? Does this mean I have cervical cancer? It doesn't mean you have cancer. HCIL means that an area of the cells collected from the cervix showed moderate to severe squamous cell abnormalities, which could indicate the possibility of precancer or cancer of the cervix. We need to do further testing. If the lesion is precancerous and removed or destroyed, Usually, cervical cancer can be prevented. Okay. How did I even get H-cell? So H-cell is usually associated with HPV infection, which is very common, and it can be contracted through vaginal, anal, or oral sex with someone who has the virus. It is one of the most common sexually transmitted infections across Canada, with some types leading to cancer and other types leading to skin lesions such as anal genital warts. Unfortunately, since you have not received the HPV vaccine, there's a high risk of you contracting it. So, do I need to tell my boyfriend? Wait, did I get this from him? There's a possibility you may have contracted it from him or any of your previous sexual partners. In terms of telling your partner or your previous partners, it is not necessary. However, it can be helpful to tell them in order to encourage safer practices, such as using condoms, getting cancer screened, or getting immunized. Even though there's no cure for HPV, the symptoms are treatable and most people with healthy immune systems clear the virus on its own. So there is no cure? Correct. Okay, well, I guess it's reassuring to know that the infection can clear on its own. Um, what um, testing do I need to go through to see if it's cancer or not? It's a procedure called colposcopy that's needed to confirm this. I would like to refer you to one of the colposcopy clinics in Toronto, if that's okay. Please let me know which location is most convenient for you. Yeah, no, that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, what can I expect during this procedure? So first you're going to lie down on the exam table exactly the same way you did as when we did the exam. The physician will then place a speculum into your vagina to examine your vulva, vagina, cervix through the colposcope, which is a light and magnifying instrument. A special solution that's either vinegar or iodine will then be applied to the cervix to help the physician see any areas that contain abnormal cells. If there is a spot on the cervix that appears abnormal, the physician may do something called a biopsy to identify if there's any precancerous or cancerous cells. This procedure usually takes approximately 10 minutes. I know I just told you a lot of information, and I know that this is very difficult for you to hear. Is there anything I've mentioned so far that you need further clarification on or any questions that I can answer. You're going to hear more about the procedure, the timing, and any prep work that's required from the colposcopy clinic when we call you with your appointment. Okay. So, to clarify, 
we don't know it if I have cancer yet, but I could. HCL indicates a high risk, but it's not definitive. A colposcopy will provide us with more information. Okay, I guess I'll just hold my breath until then. I don't, I, I, I don't know what to tell my boyfriend. What am I supposed to tell my kids? I can provide you with some written information to review with your boyfriend and your family, if that's what you would like. It can be your choice with regards to how you guide this conversation when you talk to your boyfriend and your family, but it might be best to wait until colposcopy is done. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I think I'll do that. Okay. Do you have any questions for me at this time? No, not, not at the moment. Thank you for answering my questions. So we have sent a referral to the colposcopy clinic and they're going to follow up with you in terms of your appointment time and other pertinent information regarding to the procedure. We can also set up another appointment after the colposcopy is done and we can review the results as well as discuss immunizations against HPV as I strongly encourage it to prevent further HPV infections. Even though you already tested positive for HPV, there are still many strains out there that can be prevented with the vaccine. But we can discuss that at a later time and take it one step at a time. Okay, thank you. Sana, I will follow up with you after the colposcopy results and we'll review them together. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time today. Thanks.